Hey, welcome. This is Colt from Spit and Tax Upholstery. I'm back. Haha, <laughs> did you miss me? So, um, we left off on boat seats. So we're gonna uh, we're gonna do some steaming. I've I've skipped ahead, pulled some staples. We're gonna talk about some principles that people might not have followed. I'm gonna try to, you know, glaze through some things. Like I said, don't overthink things. Okay, it's a seat. It's a chair. It's a cushion. That's all it is. You're not building a spaceship to Mars, okay? You can do this. You can do this. You know, I've had lots of really great responses. Thank you. I'll try to get to them all about threading the machine and, and uh, why do I use a zipper foot all the time. Uh, we'll talk about those things. So today we're going uh, to steam this out. Remember I was talking about that? Whenever you have little dimples like this, Always try to just drag your, you see this, now look at this. You see this, see these these lines here? Okay, you don't want that. So we're gonna come over here and see how they, how they just vanish. Okay. It, it, you're gonna pull up our plastic just a little bit. We'll just lay it back down, but you see how you see how those edges are? Now watch. Got to get yourself a good steamer. Because when you go to upholster this, all that good sewing that you're going to be doing, because I know you're going to. You make me proud now. See that? You just hold it there, and it brings all that back to life. This gives you a new lease on life. And with that scrim that I talked about, I put that quarter-inch scrim on everything. You see that? That was never there before. This is what it looked like. See that? They just went straight. And this is not even marine upholstery. Yeah. But, so anyway, you remember from the last video. So we come through and we just want to give this a, a new lease on life. You see how, how, look how much that just, with that and with that scrim, we're talking Michelin man. Puff it, baby. Okay. So, look how that, look how that, that gave me, in some places, I, I mean, that's like a half inch. That's a lot of foam expansion. So always steam your foam. That's a new lease on life. And th this, this boils down to the premise of why I use scrim. I go that extra mile. You know, that cuts into my profit margin. But uh, the customer is just going to be blown away with the, the lush, uh, uh, you know, the Michelin man look just gonna it just shows you'll you'll see it immediately you'll see it so we use your steamer and then your plastic will just come off like that okay just gently little trick so don't try to pull it and tear it so you want all your edges look at that look how that just came back to life and then with that scrim like i said boy that's the only way to go but enjoy what you do and you and do it with all your skill because your father watches you from up above, watches us all. With all your heart, all your mind, and all your skill. See, I ask the Holy Spirit always, I say, give me problem solving skills and wisdom. It says right there in the good book that he will do that for you. Oh, gotta love Jesus, I'm telling you. you can do anything with that old boy. So anyway, there we go. You know, and don't don't overthink it if it doesn't want to come out. You know, this, this seat's, you know, it's been rode hard. And then once again, shake your hose. The condensation goes back down in. And look how that fired up again. Okay, so that's good. And then we'll do the other side. Just on this edge. But it looks pretty good on this side. I, I might... Well... What, what we're going to do is, you see those tops? See that? The sides? Just come over here with your, see how that plastic just lets go? You want to steam up those edges. Look at that. Look how that comes back to life. Okay. And just hold it. Sometimes you just got to hold it for a minute. Look how that just, that'll make all the difference in the world when you go to Put this back on. I mean, you're gonna have to tug it and lean into it to get it to, to staple down, but that's that's what you're looking for. 
all your perimeters. Look how that just came back to life. Okay, that side's done. And then we'll go back with our uh, foam lock and tack that down. So over here, we're gonna come up over here and we're gonna get this, this plastic that, oh, they stapled it there, so yeah. Okay, we're good. Like I said, just hit it, hit it with the steam a little bit, give it a little tug, look at that, that just comes off. So the edges of anything and everything always get into the habit of, look at that, watch, we bring that right back to life. See that? Look at that, that's incredible. But that's, that's important, you know? And foam, foam is expensive. That's the one no quarter in the upholstery world. No one gets a deal on foam. And if you do, and you can't afford it, and they, and it's, it's like seeing a dodo bird for cheap foam. Get it, buy it. Stock up on your quarter inch scrim, your half inch scrim, and regular quarter inch and half inch foam. You know, because there are applications where you don't really want scrim uh, or you don't need it. And it costs more than regular foam. So, and it still works if you do it right. Um, so, yeah. And that's about it. And we're good. And the field is good. The field is good. Um, so, anyway, that's how we, 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 we steamed that up. And this is our old pattern. Notice how I've uh, always, whether you have to do dots, like there's four dots on that side, there's three dots on this side, and that corresponds to that main body piece, okay? So you never get lost. Always mark your patterns. Go over and above and photograph everything. Take pictures before you touch anything. Photograph it, then tear it apart. For, uh, for, photograph it, label it, and then tear it apart. And just be mindful of it, you know, and, and try, to, try to get on it. Try to get on it the same day. You tear a seat apart, you want to be able to uh, iron that out and pattern that out like I've been showing you. And then you want to uh, trace it out. Trace out your new marine vinyl or your automotive vinyl, whatever you're doing. Cut it out, okay? And try to get the foam on it at least that day, okay? So it's fresh in your mind. Them geometric shapes are fresh in your mind, okay? But calm yourself, steal yourself when you tear into these things. They look very intimidating. Uh, like this lady just commented, she's, what about the swooshes? You see, see the big lines on the boat? See how they got the different patterns that swoosh? Well, it's a swoosh. A swoosh is just like a line. Doesn't matter if it's straight or it swooshes. Boils down to sew allowances and relief cuts. And you're a rock star, okay? You start on the left, you start on the right. It's a mirror image in a lot of cases. Or you're just following a sew allowance. So concentrate on those things and gathering to where you start here. You know, you got an eight foot piece of vinyl you're sewing and you start here and you don't want to come up short. So you don't want to tug and pull. You want to make sure it's flat and adjust as you go. You know, you've been watching. This is ready. So the skin that goes on this, remember I call them skins, my hide. We're going to hide this old dog. Up, up, ho! <laughs> I tell you, you can't take me nowhere. Yeah, I'm a bit of a problem child. So we came over here. We got this one sewn on, okay? Notice the half inch sew allowance. Notice the witness marks. Notice the witness marks. Notice the witness marks, okay? So people have different approaches. Some people like to just start on one end and trust their witness marks, which you should be able to do. I myself, on ends caps like this, I'll start on one side, do that side, flip it over, and do the other side. So I know, you know, and then it comes out on the ends like an eagle's wing. And uh, you notice these little nicks? These little nicks that go all the way around? That helps you, that helps you Navigate those corners to where you can see how, how smooth that is, okay? And that's scrim, everything's scrim. We cut no corners. There is no corner cutting in upholstery. It's one shot, one kill. Get it right, take your time. Take your time and go, okay, well, well, all right, you know? Measure four times and cut once, okay? And you know, take your time. And eventually, 
you'll, you'll get a rhythm. You'll get a rhythm. Confidence will, will find you, okay? With humility and uh, attentiveness, it'll find you. These are the balances of upholstery. And uh, there's, there's, there's no, nothing like this. This is great. This is, this is art on a big, a big scale. All this looks intimidating. And it is, you know, and it's a big deal. I mean, look at, look at this. Look at this. You got an end cap. You got a front piece. You got a side end cap back piece. You got a middle, okay? Now, I've already tore this apart. This is a quick lesson before we start sewing, okay? Um, okay, now, this was all stapled down like this. As you can see where the old staples were, I've already did this and pulled this off. But once I popped one staple and I grabbed this, I just went brap, 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 and it pulled up with my hand. Okay, I didn't need the old torturous Osborne staple puller. Okay, the bane of every upholster's existence. And why is that? The wood don't look rotten. Why was I able to just pull that up? Well, I'll tell you. My company name is called Spit and Tax. In the old days, what they did was, uh, I don't know where my tack, tack jar is. You know, you had, you had your, uh, like this. I got this from uh, uh, Carl Pearson, one of the Norwegian uh, upholsteries here in, in, in Spokane, Washington, and his son, Ron. Pff, these guys are rock stars. Uh, but that's an original spit and tax hammer. Well, the, uh, and here, and here, you know, you have different sizes of tacks, but I think I've shown it in a video before, but in there, there there's the tacks, okay? That's tacks, okay? You get a mouthful of brand new tacks, and you, bam, bam, okay, spit and tacks. Back to the, the topic at hand, why this came up. It's a pneumatic stapler, okay? We use these nowadays, of course, all right? Uh, you have to set the air pressure on these. If you do not set the air pressure correctly on these guns these tools, it's not gonna, you know, it's not gonna lock in, okay? So he probably had it set at 70 or something and it just pulls right up. No, you, no less than 100 pounds, 100 PSI, no matter what, bam! And then come back, you, you change your staples, okay? Remember, you go, there are, I only use 3 8 inch uh, crown. The crown is the top of the staple, okay? Now, the length of the staple, you see how tall this one is? This is 9 16 This is 3 8 3 8 This is 3 8 9 16 Use one of these, you know, bam, 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 sporadically, about every four or five inches after you've already stapled it with these, and that will never happen again. Moving on. You still with me? Cool, cool. Uh, so, and then on the inside here, now you'll notice these, these patterns, okay? These patterns. This is the front of the seat. Okay, the lumbar. Well, now look at this. Now when I pull this forward, can you see that anchor that comes through the back of that seat on both sides? Okay, you see this, these tabs? That's these, that holds them down. Now watch me pull. See how I pull? See how that dips in like that? That's it. You can adjust the look of the seat with these anchors. And we're gonna find them on the swooshes, as that lady was mentioning, but how do I do swooshes? Things are anchored, and there's more relief cuts. As you take these things apart, this is pretty simple and straightforward, we already know, okay? We just need the length of the tab. So that's another piece that you have to trace. And you sew it onto what? The sew allowances. When you take two pieces of vinyl or whatever, you sew them together on a half inch margin, sew allowance, fold them inside out, and, and, and uh, you know, you've done it. Well, that sew allowance right there, as you can see, that's not quite a half inch. So he struggled a little bit, but you sew these tabs onto that sew allowance, okay? That's what, that's what, that's what an anchor is. And then on top, it's just, you know, as long as you, you, you did it correctly and smoothly and articulately with your relief cuts as you sewed that. That's why, you know, the sew allowance, the half inch is so important because it gives you room to do stuff like this, okay? Um, so that's that's that lesson. Now, let's, uh, real quickly, how much time do I got? 
Well, you've been talking about 15 minutes. Okay, so this is a quick one. And then we'll be done with this, okay? So this skin goes on that, okay? That's the very bottom of this lumbar. It bolts on right here. As you can see, these three bolts that go down the, the, the bottom of this, as, as I have marked back, bottom, 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 center, okay? On this end here, you'll see I have the right, I have the top, I have the bottom, I have the front, I have the back. Corresponding, front, right. See, front, front. So when you go to sew all this together, you don't get lost. Again, I'm beating a dead horse. I'm always gonna do this, okay? I talk a little fast sometimes, so forgive me. Uh, I'm getting better at these videos. You gotta find your gait, you know? It's, uh, it, it slows you down. I can't get a lot done making these videos because I'm, I'm teaching and I gotta get this done, but. Um, okay, so witness marks are your friends. Witness mark, see that? Witness mark, you see that? Witness mark, you see that? Okay. And I left these a little bit long, okay? I left them long. So when I sew this around, you're gonna see that they come up a little short. See how that's a little short? Doesn't matter, that's gonna be stapled down. That's, when I took it apart, that's where the sew, or the, the, um, um, the stitch ended. So that's where I, I chose to do my witness mark. Why not? We're mirror imaging. We're copying old patterns. Always remember that that's what I'm, I'm showing you how to do. I'm showing you how to use what you have, okay? Without having to ask anybody or start over and make your own pattern, which is hard to do if you've never done that. I'll do a video on that sometime, but I can, I don't care what it is. You can do it too. Swooshes and all kinds of fancy stuff. Okay, so witness marks are your friend, Pam. See my witness marks here? Witness mark there, witness mark there, witness mark there. That corresponds with the ends and the middle, okay? So, another little thing I wanna do real quick is show you. Silicone. Silicone is your friend also, just like witness marks. Always hit your table, you know, try to keep it clean. I need to paint my tables again, excuse me. The shop's a little messy. But always down like this and underneath, okay? Underneath your machine and around in front. And I like to, on my scram, I'll hit it real quick. I'll hit it real quick, little on top, little on top. Okay, that's how you do that. And then when I'm doing these, I'm navigating these curves. This is one thing you want to do. Always get into the habit of it, just little nicks. Remember a half inch sew allowance, okay, is up here. A half inch sew allowance is right here. You see that? So I'm nicking like this, see that? I'm well, well before. I'm not exceeding that half inch sew allowance. Just about that much, you see that little nick? So that's what you're looking for. On, just on these corners, you know, about that far apart. Just get into the habit of doing this before you sew. Bam, nick, 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 nick. Don't worry about the field, just the insides and the outside curvatures, okay? Like this. This will help it splay out as you're sewing it, okay? Uh, there's a left and a right to everything. So we'll come around this side and just, just where the, it becomes text. So don't worry because you have a half inch to play with. These are key fundamentals in the upholstery world. These are tricks that will save you a lot of aggravation and you won't get these, it'll lay flat, it'll lay right, okay? And it's, plus it leaves you room to sew an anchor, okay? And manipulate it even more. So the field, you don't need to be relief cutting fields. Just the insides of these, okay? Like this. And uh, yeah, I nick them up good. And that's that. And then this one, wherever it starts to bend, you can just come through. And remember I told you in upholstery, most of upholstery is prep. If you prep it right, when you go to uh, start throwing bullets down range, meaning, you know, you start the project, it's prepped, it's ready to go. Bam, it just flies together and you're done, okay? Upholstery itself is, you know, this doesn't take nothing to put a skin on something, making it, prepping it and, and to where it's flawless and you don't gotta worry about, you know, it's all right. So these these little gradual, you know, these little crescendos like this, you, uh, you know, I don't know, about every inch, sometimes half inch, whatever, but when they really start turning, you want to, uh, 
you want to get a little closer together like this, like on these top corners, you want to be closer, okay? And that's prepped, okay? See how that splays out? Now watch, see how that splays out when I, when I, I do that? I do that, see that? That's what we're looking for. See how that splays out and lays straight almost? That'll save you. I mean, these, this, these are the tricks. These are the tricks that no one shows you, you know? Okay, so anyway, <laughs> in, in the next video, we'll talk about uh, uh, feet. Um, I could use, this, these are called presser feet, okay? I could use this, but a lot of my feet, I'll take and I'll take my grinder and I'll grind these down because they'll leave, they'll leave an indentation, these feet. So you want to you want to grind you have a f one of these feet that um, they're walking feet okay that's what they're called but you want them smooth be mindful of that this can especially on leather it's just like tooling you don't want this pattern all the way around your sole allowance on the good side of your leather so I use I use a, a ground down zipper foot almost on everything. And it's not because I don't know what I'm doing. That's why I just prefer it. I'm, I'm good. I'm smoke. I just fly right through it. If I'm doing real big long fields, I'll stop and put this on. That's why I have these quick releases. If you come over here real quick and, and you see this right here, this, this nut, that's a quick release. Okay. Instead of having to, you know, use one of these Allen heads or these flat heads. Um, it's just quicker. It's easier. You can change your feet out real quick. Okay. So, and then you buy those, you buy those in, in, in bulk. Okay. You buy those in bulk, you know, so always have extra ones in case you drop one and you're working and it, and it hits the floor in the shop and you're like, ah, I mean, these things have a mind of their own. They vanish. They're like ninjas. So always have extra, these little screws. Trust me. It'll, it, you're burnt. I mean, get extra ones all right moving on i know i'm rambling this, this is gonna be real quick so this is what we do witness marks are your friends remember remember i like to see where i'm going here i i, I didn't go all the way through okay so there we go i'll start in the middle okay make sure your foot's on the downward slope knee foot up pull your your piece inside i come down to a half inch Drop your needle, look at your piece, look at your piece, adjust your piece back here, see this? I'm pulling this forward and then folding it back on itself. What does that do? That eliminates any gathering, that eliminates it catching on anything, maybe, if you have a smaller table, and it's going to uh, uh, hinder your perfect sew allowance. All of a sudden it's pulling and then all of a sudden you either go short or you go wide, don't do it. Clean, clean, no obstructions. <laughs> Ever. ever good good we're good good see that right next to that beautiful matthews v3 oh she's beautiful isn't she all right so here we go here we go going okay now watch see how i splay this out you're gonna you're gonna eyeball this and you got that silicone on that table so see how i bend this look at that i can see that contour and i'll just go like that and make sure that they line up Look at that. One shot, one kill. See that? And then as you go, you adjust, you adjust. Keep that half inch alive. And just adjust. And see those splays? See how that curves in? Now watch, I just make it straight. I just make it straight. But it will, it has memory. It might look like it's straight, but it's really not. You're just holding it straight. You're holding your, your course true. Okay, now see this? Look how we're coming around here. Okay, now watch. I just, I move the top. And then when I do the other side, it'll be backwards. I go slow and pull just enough to adjust. Now remember when I said, I, my, I did my witness marks to the pattern. I nicked them where uh, their stitch stopped. So, and, and this is all, I'm gonna trim this. So don't, we're not looking for an exact lineup, okay? Remember I told you that before I even started. And they just come back and back tap, okay? Lift your foot, give it a tug. Always give your, your, tu your, your, your string a tug. Put, lay it on the down, lay it on the down. Always, like you're gonna plant your needle, okay? So now we come back over here and you'll see. See that? 
That's perfect. Like I said, you come back up, give that, before you ever cut a string, okay? Always give them a tug, come down and just gently clip them, okay? So now what do we do? Remember, always gather your stuff up so it's not your way. Now let's flip it over. Now it's backwards, okay? Now look what we're doing. Now it's backwards. We've already did our nicks, okay? So what I do, this is a little 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 thing that you should get in the habit of doing. You see where I, I, I began on that side? Okay, so I'm gonna come right inside the half inch sew allowance, like about a half inch back. I'm in the sew allowance. I'm gonna come forward, I'm gonna back tack, and then I'm just gonna bleed right into that, that half inch sew allowance. Look at this. Bang. And continue on. Okay, isn't that clever? That's what you do. Okay, and you have to stop. Always plant your needle. Okay, you gotta stop, grab something, do something, then this ain't going anywhere, okay? I like to try to be as thorough as I can with these explanations. So, here we go. And if you happen to have stuttered or came short on your half inch sew allowance, you haven't had enough practice yet to, to know what a, you know, to stay true, then go, go over it again. Just start at the, at the, where you started on the, on the left side and just go over it again. I'll show you how to do that too. Cause that's, what's going to happen. These are real lessons. No one's perfect. Especially if you're just starting, you know? Okay. Now see, it might look like that's intimidating. Like, how am I going to do that? Don't worry. That's what those nicks are for. Just keep that this is what you're focusing on, is the contour. And then you manipulate the top piece. It's gonna be always the top piece, okay? Keep it flat, come forward right there, plant your needle, bend your fabric. You don't want it to bunch up, so you want it to lay right, okay? Okay, you see that? Our whole goal is that contour. So you're tugging, but not to, enough to distort. Can you see that where it stops there? I'm overhung, didn't matter. I, I did that on purpose. Like I told you before I started. Boom, boom. Bring your needle on the down stroke, okay? Give your string a tug. Nip, come back. Give your string a tug. You see that? That was that needed a tug. They're, they're machines, okay? <clears throat> they're tolerances. You have to be mindful of them. Okay, so you see that? That looks real good. So now what we want to do is, let's say you came real shallow on one spot. That doesn't matter. As long as you didn't go deep into the field and exceed a half inch, you're good. But shallow is not good. So fix that half inch sew allowance. These are real time things that you're going to encounter. No matter what, this is gonna happen to you. So now what do you do? You're like, oh, I need more meat there. Well, you've already got it on there. So you're not worrying about to splay in and okay, you've got it on there, all right? And don't worry about it, it's not gonna compromise the piece because you're within the sew allowance. People have asked me that, that's not, a, that's not an issue. Okay, so I'm gonna come back over here and I'm gonna start, because I like that half inch right there. We're already on the downstroke, plant your needle, come forward, back tack. Okay, so what you're focusing on right now is to make sure that um, you, don't, you don't bunch up and get creases. You're just after that half inch sole allowance. So it's the width of the zipper foot usually come to the outside of where you just you just sewn and you, you give it that half inch and, and you look underneath and you pull it and make sure that it's flat okay but before you go tugging always plant your needle stay on the outside of your previous sew allowance see that Now we'll get that true half inch and you get a smooth, smooth line. 
but you'll have to manipulate it. You might only be able to go an inch at a time. Just make it flat, make sure it's flat underneath and flat on top, and then you get that smooth. You can get that smooth corner, okay? And then you go right over all of that. You see how pretty that, that, that is? And that's what you're looking for, is that smooth graduation into those curves. And be fluid. Continue on, continue on. Don't be stopping and starting a lot. Especially on those corners. All right, so we're keeping it flat. Always keep it flat. Be mindful of what's underneath of you. Don't just sew on through. Adjust as you go. We get that half inch. You want that half inch. You're gonna see how imperative it is once we do these, these, uh, um, these anchors. You're gonna go, yeah. For sure, that's what he was talking about. Yeah, there we go. And as Gomer Pyle would say, shazam, shazam, shazam. Okay, so that's that, okay? And then we'll fold it inside out, okay? Now those sole allowances, They've, they've been relieved. So you come through and you manipulate, okay? See how we manipulate? You come through and pull and tug underneath, underneath, and then you can pull it and stretch it on the top and manipulate those corners with your fingers, okay, all the way around. And then get that sole allowance underneath to lay flat, okay? And last time I checked, that's perfect, right? Not bad for a dumb old Irishman. Okay, so witness marks are your friends. Soul elements are imperative. Pay attention to the geometry that you're doing, okay? Uh, uh, ba -ba 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 -ba. Uh, you go outside the half inch, half inch soul allowance, as long as you don't exceed into the field, you're good. Go over it again. You're not gonna co compromise the piece. You'll get a smoother uh, contour that time. So, uh, thank you. Uh, please subscribe and like my channel. I'm Colt, Spokane, Washington, spit and tax upholstery. Uh, I'll see you around like a donut.